Hey, blessings, 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 prayer warriors. We start a new week off. Here we are, May 15th, Monday, May 15th. God bless you. Hope you had a beautiful Mother's Day yesterday and Israel's birthday yesterday. And we'll see what comes of all the stuff that's going on out there. Thank God we got pre-information, amen, so we know what's going on and we know that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will take care of all that's going on there. So today we're praying for Cameron. Cameron has a population of 28.5 million people, 9.1% evangelical Christians, and they're number 120 on your prayer map. The teams are asking for prayer for spiritual growth for believers among the Baca people who meet regularly to study the word. Pray that their neighbors in this region who have remained attached to their tradition may be moved by the gospel and join their brothers and sisters in accepting Jesus. Boy, don't we see that in so many realms. The tradition of man has made the power of God of none effect. I can tell you growing up, the traditions that we had, don't turn the bread upside down. Don't do this. Don't do that. That's Jesus' face. I can go on and on. Anyway, thank God I'm not under those bad traditions. And there are some good traditions. Amen. We're reading John chapter 6. This is Jesus walking on the water. If you go ahead and read that 6, 1 through 21. We're praying for evangelism and discipleship today in our prayer focus. And our two states that we're praying for today is Kansas and Oklahoma. Kansas has a 2.9% population, 2.9 million, uh, 2.9 million population with 31% evangelical Christians. Oklahoma has a 3.9 million, 4 million people, 47% evangelical Christians. All right, let's go ahead and pray today. Lord, we do bless you and we thank you for another day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will be very, very glad in it. We thank you for this beautiful weather that we've had, Lord. It's, a bit, it's been a beautiful spring. Thank you with all the early rain that we had. April showers truly brings May flowers and May's greenness, Lord. It's beyond words. It's just beautiful. Yesterday, Lord, I was just singing the song, you care for the sparrow. If you care for that little sparrow, I'm just watching him just hop on the, on the ground there. You care for us so much more. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we lift up the prayer requests that have come in this week, the needs of brothers and sisters, and we pray over them this day. We pray that our God shall supply all of their needs, our needs, according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, that you are a faithful God. And Lord, even in times when we don't understand all that's going on, we understand that you are faithful, faithful to your word, faithful to us, faithful to, to the way you do things. And I thank you like it says in the book of Narnia, you are a wild lion, Lord. When we think we got you all figured out, no, no, no. You are greater than that. Hallelujah. We lift up our United States of America and we pray for our nation. We lift up before you Kansas and Oklahoma and we pray for these uh, areas that have many born again Christians and we pray for the lives there, Lord. We pray for the people there. We pray for our nation, Lord, as we see a, a shaking going on in America, as we see total delusion, lawlessness from right from our government, Lord, like never before. We know there's always been corruption, Lord, but we have never seen it on a scale like this. And that's why we are looking up. We are living in warp speed because Scripture, 1 Timothy 4, 2 Timothy chapter 3, is being fulfilled right before our eyes, Matthew chapter 24, and on and on. We see a delusion of Romans chapter 1, 1 Thessalonians, of people just being 
full of delusion and we pray for them. We pray that the scales can come off of the, from the presidents right down to, 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 to mayors of cities and councilmen and women and on and on, Lord. We pray for our nation. We need help, Lord. We ask you for it. We lift up the world before you. We pray for Cameron today. And we pray for the people of Baca, Lord. And we pray that the scales would come off their eyes, that the traditions of men that make the power of God of none effect would be broken. I've been in different countries. And just to see the traditions, the, the worship of icons and idols and on and on, Lord, Lord, Unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We lift up our world for you. We pray for Israel today. We thank you for the blessing we receive for that. For you told Abraham that you would bless those that bless you and you would curse those that curse you. So we bless the nation of Israel. We pray for the people of Israel, very liberal people also. And we pray that the scales would come off their eyes and that they would see Jesus Christ as the Messiah. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem also, Lord. And we pray for this. We lift up today evangelism and discipleship. We pray this in our own church, Lord, that we can effectively do the work of the ministry, Lord, that you would guide us, lead us to people, that each one would reach one, Lord, that each of us, if we just reach one person in our lives, my goodness, what, what an impact it would have on our church, on our state, on our nation, and on our world. We pray for this, Lord, in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this new week. This is the week you have made, Lord. I praise you for that. I pray for my brothers and sisters that you, the Lord, you would bless us and keep us. You, the Lord, would make your face shine upon us and be so gracious to us. You, the Lord, would lift up your confidence upon us and you give us your shalom, shalom. Lord, we are looking up. We are living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled. Lord, as I heard that one person say the other day, how, how Lindsay used to say years ago, you, you, you look each day for a prophecy to be fulfilled. You can barely find it. Now there are so many being fulfilled daily that you're like, what, what do I write about today? And Lord, we see that because the coming of our King is soon. Hallelujah! We're going to be with our Savior, glory to God, and we're going to be with our loved ones again, the ones that we love so dearly. So we raise a hallelujah. We give you the praise and all the honor that's due and worthy of your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hey, God is good. Again, thank you for joining me for these few minutes each day. Man, I'm hoping this will stop one day, amen, that we'll be up in the sky meeting Jesus, seeing our loved ones, and then forever being with our Lord, amen. But till then, let's keep praying. Let's keep putting our hands to the plow and getting it done for our great friend. I don't call you servant anymore. I call you friend, Jesus Christ, and our great Abba Father, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful Monday. Have a wonderful day.